should warn you. Foral host is quite haunted, but I'm sure you can handle it. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim mission. This one I entitled Forel Host, but the actual mission is Siege on the Dragon Cult. And this is a potentially very long mission, so I will be doing some fast forwarding through some parts because. I want to try and keep the videos tighter and you know not as long because they take forever to upload to YouTube the longer they are and these are at 1080p at 60 frames a second so yeah you're talking pretty heavy videos but I digress so let's get on with siege on the dragon cult or as I call it 4L host. Now uh, you're going to come upon a guy camping outside, and his identity changes depending on what your potential loyalty is. Right now, he's Captain Valmir of the Stormcloaks, and he tells you of a mission. And it's historic in the fact that a dragon cult held up in Forel Host, and there was a guy who laid siege to it. Things didn't work out well, and the cult tended to commit suicide. So, oh, I used that bad word. Anyway, you go in there, and this is a very treasure heavy mission, and you may need to squirrel away areas of treasure in order to go back in and bring it out. And Ragat's mask is one of the many masks you need in order to complete a mission that is in the um, Librinthia. But I digress. So let's continue on. And naturally, I go into sneak mode and first-person view. And yeah, I got a lot of iron daggers. I sure sold those off. I enchanted them in order to sell them, but I digress. And let's see what we find here. Now, these dragon cultists are pretty easy to take down, and they have a spectral appearance. In them, they have ancient Nord armor. You can load yourself up with a ton of it. Um, yeah, it'll eventually, eventually weigh you down. And again, you don't want to take too much. You can hoard stuff in certain areas and cache it for the later on picking up of. And again, I'm going to do some fast forwarding through this. It's an extremely long mission, and I want to keep the video sizes down. Okay, the first point of interest is this hallway, and it's trapped with blades. You can kind of jump through it, if you time the blades out, and once you get through the blades, there's a dead um, guy here. But once you get through the blades, there's really not much of interest. Okay, there's this room, and these cultists pop up. You can take them down pretty quickly. Um, yeah. One guy's blasting me, and the other guy is not going down. All the cultists have ancient Nord armor, but there's also a dragon priest dagger. I picked those up because those are very rare. And yeah, ancient Nord armor is kind of rare, but it's not very good armor. You can modify it. 
through smithing skills and bring it up to, ah, here we go, Gorm Snow Strider's journal. It talks about the siege and the dragon cult, but that is about it. It's an interesting book to collect and put on your shelf. It's an optional accomplishment. Now, you got to find and work your way through. If you find a treasure chest, this is usually a good thing because if you're encumbered, you can load up a treasure chest with stuff that you eventually want to come back and take out. After the previous room, you come into this room, and this is where the cultist slept. And if you look around, you'll find vials of poison. They had, um, how shall I say, decided to kill themselves and end the siege that way. Again, you take the dragon priest dagger. Don't worry about the ancient Nord armor. But this is pretty grim. And there's vials of poison around. And the dragon cult did eventually kill themselves, which is kind of sad. Forel host tends to weave around itself a lot, but you will eventually get to um, Forestall Crypt. But you got to fight your way through a lot of um, dragon cultists and stuff. So yeah, your ultimate goal is Forestall Crypt. Once you get into the crypt, you'll fight various other um, dragon cultists who are now ghosts or shades. And yeah, there is potentially a lot of loot through here. And like I said, in order to keep the video size down, I am doing uh, a lot of fast forwarding. I actually had this mission will take you about. 45 minutes if you walk your way through it and explore all the nooks and crannies and hoard chests, hoard loot, whatever, you know. Yeah, it's a very elaborate mission. That's why it is very loot heavy and I'm fast forwarding through a lot of it. Actually, this staircase, locked staircase, is very important. And you need a certain key in order to unlock the staircase. As you get deeper into the crypt, you'll encounter more powerful Draugr. And the Draugr Death Lord is pretty tough. Yeah, this guy, I'm going to take him down. And yep, he goes down. And anytime you get a very powerful creature like a Draugr Death Lord, there's probably something important nearby. And in this case, there was this crypt here. I am trying to get rid of anything. I don't need minor Draugr here. And again, there's a healing potion which you can grab. Ultimate healing if you see it there. I'm going to continue to fast forward. Again, this is a lot of crawling through the crypt. It is very extensive. Uh, Forel host, I've stated before, is probably about 45 minutes worth of play from start to finish. A lot of loot, so do a lot of stashing. Now we get to this part of the crypt, and it's very interesting. There's a gate trap. You can use that to your advantage, and I'll show you how things work out. A 
Again, the droggers stumbled upon the gate, and they basically harmed themselves more, which is fine. You always want to use um, natural traps to your advantage when you're fighting your opponent, and them tripping a gate and damaging themselves is a lot better than you doing it. Now you get to this room, and it's multiple Draugr Death Lords. And I took this guy down. He was pretty weak. I think I had attacked him before. But yeah, there is a bunch of these guys, and they are a pain. You're going to need to use a lot of healing here. Okay, not too bad. This room is kind of large, and there are ramps that will lead up to another level, I believe. Yeah, there's a ramp there. And you got to go up that ramp to another level where you can exit out to another major room. If you follow the ramps up, this is where it leads. There's a soul gem trap, which not too bad. And then you come to this barred door, and you got to take out this Draugr Death Lord. Did some stashing of some stuff. Now the wooden door opens up. I'm trapped. Mother. Yeah, now I'm going to have to close the door again. Can't get out of this, so close the door, stand somewhere different, open it, and you're back into a room that you had been in before. And again, Forest, Forel Host twists and turns around itself. So again, it's a very extensive dungeon. The next one is Forest, Forel Host Stronghold. I'm going to go back and stash some stuff and get back to Forel Host. Okay, at some point you'll pick up the key to open this locked um, stairwell. And it's the forest Forel Host well key. Pay attention because once you get that key you can come back to the crypt and you go through this part of the um, how shall I say Dungeon Layer Mission. You go through some spiders and stuff. Now you get to this room. And this room is a trap. Yeah, that raises up and that can crush you against spikes. Now you're going to be fighting um, some Draugr Death Lords. And it can get very, very, how shall I say difficult. What stinks is it appeared the trap didn't affect the Draugr Death Lord. Now, I, I, for it, for El Host is so treasure heavy. And again, you're going to have to stash stuff. That's what I've been doing from time to time when I fast forward is I'm stashing stuff in areas that I know I can return to quickly and bring it back to another central location. Now we are at the Forestall reflect, Reflectory, which is kind of near the end of the mission. And you will now come upon very powerful creatures. Level 
adjusted. And since my character is really at 40-some level, yeah, Draugr, Death Lord, all over the place. So this is where things are going to get a little interesting. You see the pile of dead bodies here. And here we have a Draugr, followed by a Draugr, Death Lord. And I'm going to cut my way through this guy. But we get to a room which I call the dining hall. And this refractory kind of winds around itself and ends up at the dining hall again. Okay, this is what I call the dining hall. And there are several gates and there are several doors that lead to this. And they tend to then focus on getting you circled around. And this is kind of a nexus point. I'm going to do some fast forwarding because, again, this is going to be an extremely long video if I don't cut it down to size. Whenever you see a purplish pinkish liquid on the ground in Skyrim, that is oil. And you can ignite it using a fire spell. And usually that will bring out a bad guy, in this case a Draugr overlord or whatever it is. I'm going to level up here and give myself some more health. Yeah, a Draugr death lord. And that was that. So let's continue on fast forwarding through some of the, oh, yeah, explosive runes. And let's fast forward to some more interesting stuff. This is a nice little interesting room within Forestall or Forel Host. And you fight these Draugr. This is kind of like a little garden area, and you can pick up death bell, snowberries, and various other things. Again, kind of a nice little room. Now, this is an interesting room. Again, um, I'm going to blast this pinkish link liquid stuff, and it's going to bring out some Draugr Death Lord, who I'm going to have to fight, but there's the passage to the uh, dining area. And yeah, these guys are taking some damage from flame, but not a lot. So I'm going to take them down. Now, if you search the Draugr's, and their bodies, they have some decent stuff, and I'm carrying too much. This is kind of an alchemy area above the uh, garden room, and you can find some ingredients, ingredients and stuff. I'm going to fast forward. Yeah, I glossed over a letter, but it's not that important, to be honest with you. Just a little nuance in the story. Now you come to this room and it's trapped. I call it kind of a library of sorts. And there's some interesting stuff, but there is that uh, soul gem trap, which does shock damage. And I'm going to try and take it out using a... Um, yeah, I'm going to heal first, but I'm going to try and take it out using archery. Sometimes you just sprint past it using Whirlwind Sprint. But you can try and take it down. Oh, yeah. Now you got to deal with this guy. Better to go deal with these guys. And this actually is above what I call the dining room. And I'll take a look here. I can show you 
that, again, I didn't bother, but this is actually above the dining room. If you take a look, there's that dining room. Okay, using archery doesn't seem to be working. Uh, let's see. Um, well, did I do it? Nope. I'm going to probably use whirlwind sprint or unrelenting force or just try and run by it here. Unrelenting force didn't work, but I'm by it. Now I'm just going to fast forward through the exploration of this place. A lot of lock picking. This is why I tell you carry over 100 lock picks because they break easily on advanced locks. This is what I call the mini dining hall, and you got to take down a Draugr Death Lord. Okay, now there is an Arcanum Enchanter, or Arcane Enchanter. These are great in large dungeons to reduce your encumbrance because then you can enchant items with soul gems, which then reduces your weight. I did fight one Draugr Death Lord on my way here, but this is the main part of the mission, and you have a puzzle wall. You should have found by now a. Uh, what's that? I don't know. It's possibly part of the. Uh, anyway, you should have found a Dragon Claw, and it's in your miscellaneous, and it's the glass dragon claw and it's wolf owl snake to unlock this puzzle door And now the final part of the mission where you fight a dragon priest, Raygot, I believe, and he has a mask. Okay, I'm still dealing with the Draugr Death Lord followers, but I'm going to use this chest and dump stuff in it because I am encumbered now. And this is easier to do, and I can get to this last chest once I'm done and deal with these Draugr Death Lord and Raygot, which I've already killed. And they will flee. If they are against a superior opponent, which I hate because it makes them harder to track down and fight. But once I take these guys down, and the final guy is taken down, I can go back and take down the other Draugr Death Lord, who is still hiding somewhere in the main area, and even encumbered, I'll take him down. Now, for more most intent, most purposes, this is the end of the mission. 
And again, I'm going to put stuff in the master chest, and I'm going to fast forward to there is a word wall. When you exit Foral Host, there is a word wall, and I've unencumbered myself because I'm going to come back and pick up all these areas where I left treasure. And yeah, like I said, you got to squirrel stuff away. The word for the day is wrath, storm call. Awesome. Now, once you get back to the guy who put you on this assignment, you're going to realize he is a spy and kind of a jerk. This journal. Oh, uh, <laughs> Valmir, you rat. You're not a soldier at all. Must be one of the Thalmor. Never should have caught me. <laughs> We're routed. Pull back. Now you can see Captain Valmir was playing uh, both ends. He is a Thalmor um, imposter, and he wants the mask for the Labyrinthian um, thing, where you have the wood mask and you got to round up seven dragon priest masks. But one of the things I'm going to do is use his treasure chest and or the barrel to store stuff when I go back in and find all of my uh, hidden reserves of treasure and bring it to this central location where I'm going to then get a horse and come back here. But I digress. For most intense purposes, this mission is over. If you liked this video and found it informative, hit the thumbs up icon and leave a comment if you want. I always respond to comments. I did fast forward a lot to keep the uh, size of the video down. If you find that annoying, I apologize. Um, if you like this video overall and you like the type of videos I'm posting, hit the subscribe button and bell icon to stay informed. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.